Hey everybody, this is Dennis Wilborn. If you're joining us live on Instagram, welcome. Uh, if you're watching the recording, also welcome. I am the Active Trend Trader. Today we're going to cover some really great stuff as we rock into getting ready to our Christmas. Hope you're all ready. I know here we're here celebrating with some of our uh, grandchildren, uh, uh, Alani and David, and uh, we're having some good time. We had a good time last night looking at that uh, Christmas star. I hope you were out there and we were somewhere where it was really clear so you could see it. Uh, about here in, uh, in Boise, it was clear. We could see it. We saw all the moons. We saw the rings of Saturn. And uh, coming from Hawaii, and we're out here in the middle of a, a farm field in Boise, and I was cold, and I was freezing my butt off, but we're not here to talk about me freezing my butt off. We're here to talk about what's happening in the marketplace. Uh, as uh, you know, what we do uh, on this uh, channel, hey, I'm having, a, having an issue. What should I be calling this? Market review sounds a little bit boring. How about if I just tell it, this is my... Uh, uh, three times a week or daily, you know, I'll do it Tuesday, Thursday, Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday, 12 o'clock noon on Instagram live. And it's going to be a live market update, but I'm basically going to be also looking at stocks that I'm actually in trades on so that I can let premium and top five members know where I'm adjusting stops. So you'll know about that. And then I'm going to have a, you know, as an old naval aviator, I want to have, you know, a stock or maybe two stocks that are on my radar that I think have the potential of taking off, doing really well in the future. And I've got one of those today. So stay tuned to the end to be able to hear it. If it's the first time joining us on Instagram or any of the uh, whatever, wherever you're watching this at, uh, make sure you basically hit the follow, hit the like. If you have a stock that you want to put onto my radar and have me do a technical analysis, of a technical analysis and a, uh, um, uh, analysis on the fundamentals, drop it into the comment section saying, hey, Dennis, take a look at Tesla or take a look at Netflix or, or Apple or anything you would like me to take a look at. I'll do one stock every day where that is basically come on to my, uh, uh, come on to my radar and uh, let it be one of yours uh, starting tomorrow. So I'll be looking forward to it. So what are we going to do? We're going to we covered the three points we're going to take, and so let's jump right into the indexes themselves. Right behind me, as you see, is the uh, the spy that represents the S and P. I follow three indexes. I follow the S and P. I follow the Nasdaq, and I follow the Russell. I think that gives us a well-rounded uh, uh, in you know well-rounded picture of what's going on in the economy, following from small caps, technology, all the way up into the S&P. I don't necessarily trade, follow the Dow, not that it's not a great index, not that it doesn't move and all that kind of stuff, but it's just, it's too narrow base for me. I want to see uh, you know, something that's a little bit wider base, and that's what the uh, the uh, uh, S&P, the Dow, the NASDAQ, and the IWM does for us. So what are we looking at this? Uh, yesterday, we woke up. The markets were hard down. Uh, why were they hard down? Because the coronavirus has a new strain and it hit in, you know, I think it was Great Britain. Uh, and so that drove the market down. Market came down, retested here at the 34 on this S&P and drove itself back up. What's interesting is where did it drive itself back up to? We're starting to get kind of a little jackhammer effect. I call it jackhammer effect. It's where it's starting to hit on top of the moving averages and roll them over. Oftentimes that is a precursor or a, there we go, that is often a precursor to the markets rolling over into a little bit deeper decline. Does that mean we're going to go into a deep dive on the market indexes? Not necessarily, but, you know, a, a pullback, a deeper pullback, you know, a 7 to 8 to 10% pullback, would be very good to set us up for some good trades going forward. So that's it for the S&P. The Qs, representing the NASDAQ. Uh, of the indexes, I tend to want to trade either the Qs and or the uh, IWM and or the and their uh, leveraged ETFs. As you can see, everything in, is in gear on the Qs heading up. Moving averages heading up. We came down, we tested towards the 20-day moving average yesterday. 
and we have a very nice rebound going on today. <clears throat> One thing to keep in mind, I'll see if I can blow this up and show it to you, is Friday's candlestick was a more or less a hanging man type pattern that also was a, a bearish engulfing of the previous day's session. That is, a ne that is I won't say it's negative, but it is a, a, a bearish reversal signal. And as long as that high right there, that high, which is 311.98, is not taken out, that bearish indication or that bearish reversal signal remains in effect. So what do we get today? We're getting a push back up, a rally attempt. It's getting up towards that area, but then it has slowed down. Other things of, I won't call them of concern, but just to be aware of is one, we're getting some negative divergence going on on a daily chart as we were making this new high. Oftentimes, that is also a precursor for stocks, you know, for something to roll over. The other thing we'll take a look at, what's showing up on the weekly chart. The weekly chart is still in gear ever since the uh, uh, March, April time frame. It's been respecting that 40 period moving average. It's right there, a correction, 20 period moving average. It's right there, which is approximate on a weekly chart to the um, uh, 100 day moving average, pushing on up, hanging, you know, just below the lows from Friday, as you can see right there from last week. It could uh, provide us some really great. Uh, buying opportunities. And so that's what's going on with the queues. Let's run over to IWM. There we go, IWM. Also, IWM, no signs of weakness here on IWM yet. Um, let's go over, let me get rid of some of these Fibonacci's and get back over to the daily. As you can see, we, uh, price action yesterday, yes. Open down here at support, rebounded. Take, off, take out last Friday's high, and we're off to the races again. Uh, the, uh, the IWM, the Russell, has been respecting very nicely the eight-day moving average, and we continue to move up. Excuse the dogs in the background. They, that is, uh, I think the postman is delivering something or something. Anyway, uh, momentum stand high all the way across the line on the uh, TSI and the market forecast. If you want to know what we're doing I'm on, uh, if you've never had anybody give you instructions on trading TSI and the market forecast, you need to be looking at becoming an active trend trader. Uh, the free service, because I go in, these are two of the indicators I use all the time. I find them very predictive and almost uh, 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 of when and where things are going to turn around. But of course, I always go back and I trade what? I trade the um, I trade the uh, uh, price action. Price action is always king with what we're doing. So IWM, anything to write home about? No, not really. It is continuing up. It has not given us an open to get into a trade yet after a nice pullback. And so we'll just watch and see if we continue to proceed higher. So with that being said, let's cover real quick a couple of stocks that I, that I am in fact looking at. And one of them is... We opened a trade on this one today, AMD. Very pleased with this. Now, this went in for our premium members, but also uh, the members who are a member of our top five, um, uh, our top five autopilot trade system. It's our entry level trade trading system for uh, active trend traders. And what I did was on this day here, I'll point the day out, which was over the weekend. Over the weekend, I basically come out and say, and this was that day right there, okay, in between that day and that day. So on, on Saturday, Sunday, I came out with my pre-flight checklist that said, I like AMD, and I, but I like AMD if it pulls back to $91. Yesterday, it pulled back to $91.08. Today, it pulls back to where? It pulled back to... $90.53. That got our traders, or the people who are parallel trading with me. I don't make recommendations, but I do make what I'm trading known to people, uh, known to our, our premium members and our, our top five uh, members. And so I said, you know, that's where I'm entering. And we use that as a training session. I'm entering at $91. We got triggered into that trade today, and we've rebounded nicely up to almost 93 So we're in it uh, we're almost up $2.00 just for today. So 
My expectation is for this to take off and go ahead and run up at least to last, you know, the highs from last week of about 97. Uh, yeah, however, AMD, it's in a very nice, strong uptrend. Take a look at this on a weekly chart. Nice, strong uptrend. And if it busts on out from here, because we've gone up from $36 up to into the 90s, so that was a three-time uh, move. And we may get something similar going forward. No promise or no expectation, but we'll just measure it along. We'll trade the technicals on this uh, very specifically. So that's AMD. Uh, <clears throat> If you join us uh, on this trade as a top five, remember our stop loss is down here below this $88 level, or $88.50 level. And our first target, I believe, is up at about $96. Uh, who knows? We may hit that fairly quickly. Another one that I like to trade, and this is a, a new service we're going to be coming out with uh, uh, very soon. And it, this service will be trading um, the... Um, uh, ETFs, and uh, I trade uh, basically seven or eight ETFs plus the leveraged ETFs, uh, both the inverse and the non-inverse, because it gives a little bit more bang for our bucks. And so it's autopilot ETFs uh, is what we're, we're doing it with. And what this was on is, let me go grab my, there we go. Uh, it was on the energy ETF with its XLE. As you can see, it was starting to fall. Well, I didn't want to trade this falling and buy puts on and all that kind of stuff. And so it has an inverse uh, um, ETF, and it's leveraged. And what we did is we picked up our, our – we basically bought this down here at $31. All the way down here, it made a nice move up to a little bit over 36 and what's really awesome about these leverage ETFs is if we jumped on it down here at 31. Let me grab 31. Ran up here yesterday. 15% move in uh, how many days is that? Nine days, seven, seven bars, so seven trading days. Excellent. We exited part of the position. We're holding on to the rest. If we get another strong move on this, or what it is is XLE is actually falling. Uh, and so it's bearish on the energy sector, and this allows us to p still trade the energy sector as it's going down. This entity will be going up. Really excellent, excellent uh, uh, opportunity. And again, this is looking positive, like it's going to start to move up very nicely. So uh, again, we have our stops in place. Remember that we moved up our stop to about 6160, uh, 6150, so that even if it rolls over on us, we'll still be profitable in the second half of the trade. And that's one of the ways we, you know, coach folks up about how to trade along with us. And all that comes out on our, our, our autopilot pre-flight checklist that comes out every Saturday. And we have one also coming out on Sunday. Now, the stock that I'm really looking at and I'm very uh, interested, we talked about AMD. Here is one of the entities that we have been looking at um, and it has shown very some really strong uh, opportunities. It may be shaping up for a nice move to the upside. Again, I'm just watching this because it is doing a nice base. And this is my on-the-radar stock uh, for today's session. As you can see, this is ZYXI. It's shown up on several um, uh, of the IBD, Investor Business Daily, uh, uh, stocks to watch type list. Uh, we moved it over to our top, our, our, our um, uh, power ranked elite watch list that I put out to my free members on Friday. Uh, it's somewhere between 15 to 20 stocks that I'm watching going into the, the following week. Uh, power ranked elite, man, we go through you know, quite, a, quite a sorting process to come up with the best stocks available after we sort through about 500 stocks. So as I'm looking at this, what's it likely to do? It's been put in a very nice base down here. Uh, we picked up, but we actually bought uh, some for our uh, members uh, down here at about 1330, which is coming up at 13, 13, 30, 13, 15. Now, you know, in this area here, it has moved up nicely. We get a move back up above the 50-day moving average, which is right there. Right there, we get a move back above that. 
and above that high there, then this level of currently resistance flips over and becomes a level of support, and we're looking for bounces off of that to bounce up to the upside. What's the potential upside target for this? Well, one, we've got this past high here of about 20 bucks. So that's about $6 from where we are currently. And let's get a quick run for see how far that is. That's about a 41% gain. Now, does it mean we're going to capture all of that? No, not necessarily. But, you know, I'd like to cut out the middle part of that sirloin, if you know what I'm talking about, that center cut. And then if we expand this out to a weekly chart, you can see we've got another high over here. And so I would just draw in a, let's see, are we breaking out yet of this downtrend? As you can see, we're almost there, not quite. But if we break out of that, then we could give us a potential upside target up there, which is, that's about right at about 100% uh, uh, move from current prices up to there. Do I have a price trigger to get in yet? Um, I, I would say no, simply because I would like to see it either retest down here at the bottom, break out above resistance here, and then pull back. So as I said earlier, that's my stock on the radar. If you're interested in it, you know, go do your own research on it, do the fundamentals on it, see how you like it. Uh, but for me, it's a, uh, you know, I'm an old uh, naval aviator. <laughs> so uh, for me, it's a hot target and I'm going to roll in on it, roll in hot. Uh, so, hey, until next time, you know, please follow us on Instagram. We have presence also on YouTube uh, at Market Tech Talk. So just hit the, you know, follow button on Instagram. Uh, in my bio, I have a link tree that can, will connect you to my um uh, uh, active trend trading for you know to become a free member. It will also connect you to um, uh, our YouTube channel and um, provide a, a couple of extra bonuses for you if you're interested in uh, in that also. So it's in the bio. Uh, if you like what you hear, uh, oh last, if you want to get a stock and get it onto on the radar that I review on a, on a in a begin uh, basically I do this review Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. 12 noon Pacific time, and you want to get on to that session, send me an email, send me a text, send me a DM, put it in the comments saying, Dennis, I want to be on that. So uh, uh, here's the stock I want you to you know, get into on the radar. And I'll give you a full-blown technical analysis of it and a fundamental analysis to say, you know, is it worth your time to invest to follow that stock? Until next time, if I don't, we'll talk to you again tomorrow, 12 noon Pacific. Aloha. God bless, everybody.